who's what was working well for you tonight? Everything. <laughs> no, just playing. Um, <laughs> um, I just I just got a, a good rhythm right from the jump. Um, you know, I just really just set my set my attentions on on the night of just trying to be aggressive, um, trying to score first, and then um, you know find my teammate second. And um, you know, a, me having that mentality, I think it um, it really allowed myself and my teammates to um, you know just 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 be in the present, and it was good. They started really hot from three. What changed for you guys on defense? Um, you know, um, they started out really hot. We had our game plan. It was kind of starting to look like the Nets were over again, you know, with a couple of doubles. And, and we didn't do a good job of, of rotating, being there, being in the right place. And um, I think we just cleared it up. And then as the game got long, um, kept going, we did a good job of just the attention to details of things. And um, it helped uh, prevail a win for us. <clears throat> Luke has been on a tear this year. How'd you guys hold an eight for twenty-one with five turnovers? Um, we just did a good job. We we know that you know the, their team is very limited outside of him, and you know obviously with Christian Wood out, uh, a big time player, the ball was going to be in his hands the whole time. So you know for us, we wanted to make sure certain situations, whether it was him posting up, making sure we're doubling at the right time, and then our rotations were really crisp. And then on top of that, when we didn't double, playing them on the perimeter, allowing ourselves to one guard one on one without fouling, and then <clears throat> being uh, um, just playing uh, playing with on a string defensively, and uh, that was huge, especially with a player like that. If you just play one on one with him on an island, it's going to be a long night. But we did a great job. The entire team, everyone came in attention to detail to the game plan and um, really zoned in on, on what we were trying to accomplish. Jordan Goodwin closing tonight seemed like another step forward for him, another taking advantage of an opportunity. What have you made of uh, what he's done lately? I mean, um, it's pretty obvious that he's he's really hungry. He's really hungry to play basketball and be an NBA player. And um, I believe he is. You know, um, you know he, he's just a kid, a tough kid. Has a chip on his shoulder, comes from nothing, and um, you can tell how he plays. You know, he comes out there every night, <clears throat> plays hard as he can. Um, he's in the gym in practice. He, he he does the same thing in practice. He plays hard in practice too. So it's just good when <clears throat> you can see teammates and you can see their struggles and where they come from and um, how they just seize the moment and. He's a prime example, and it's it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see, honestly. Kuz, you mentioned mentality. What does it say about the team's mentality to get this win when you don't have Brad and you don't have KP, and it could seem like an uphill battle when people hear that? Well, it was a big time win. Um, I think prior to did we win two in a row? Okay, so we won two in a row. I think it was five or six. We lost five or six before then, maybe something like that. I don't know, right? I'm right. So, um, like, you know, we've been struggling a little bit, right? But <clears throat> had some bodies down. Brad's got COVID. KP's out. Um, lineup's been switched around a little bit. Corey gets back, put in the rotation. So there's been a lot of movement. Start lineups changed. But, you know, I think tonight was just a great night just to play basketball. Everybody that was in the game was ready to play understand the, the assignment, and um, just went out there and executed, and it was beautiful. It was probably our best game all year, no question. Just from a attention to detail and just executing what we sought, sought forth at first, and it was great. Kuz, cool. uh, I know everybody loves to facilitate, loves to have the ball in their hand, and you were able to do that more tonight I just wonder, like, when you look at what Luca's load is every night, do you go, I would love to do that? Or, man, I don't know if I could do that. No question, I would love to do that, 100%. Um, I, I'm not, I love challenges. You know, maybe not 40%. That's, that's a little aggressive. I don't think you can win NBA championships and, and, and of that nature with that. That's a lot. But 
um, I have that type of ability to where I can I can make others better. I can score. I can do a lot of different things. So, um, you know, I thrive in those moments. And when I have an opportunity, when guys are out, <clears throat> um, to do that. And um, I've been that way my entire career. So, Kyle, uh, no one in this room uh, is in the position where you are, where our employment status is scrutinized by the whole league. Mm -hmm. How much do you think about a potential free agency in the in the summer ahead for you? I don't think about it at all, honestly. I'm uh, I, I I I I just try to live in a moment. I mean, it's cliche, but. <clears throat> No, I've, I've done a lot of soul searching this summer, and, and, and I do a lot of meditating. And um, whatever's for me in, in life is, is for me, and it's going to come eventually. I'm not tripping. Um, it's partly why I signed my first deal in the first place. So obviously I put myself in a great situation, but um, I'm, I'm enjoying just as playing basketball and, and being free and, and um, enjoying everything that comes with it.